This is a brief history of the Chicago Cubs ownership and a look at what the future has in store for the team. The franchise began in 1876. Known as the Chicago White Stockings, they were owned by William A. Holbert. In 1882, after the death of William Holbert, the team president, Albert Spaulding, took over as owner of the franchise. He would soon change the team name to the Chicago Cubs. In 1902, the club was purchased from Spaulding by James Hart. Cincinnati Times star owner, Charles Taft, brother of President William H. Taft, bought the franchise from James Hart in 1914. In 1916, Charles Wiegman was head of a group that purchased the team for $500,000 and moved the team to Wiegman Park on the corner of Addison and Clark. Involved in the group was William Wrigley, founder of Wrigley's Chewing Gum. He had eventually acquired enough stock by 1921 to become a majority shareholder of the team. Wrigley would rename the stadium Cubs Park, and eventually he would title it Wrigley Field. The franchise would remain in the hands of the Wrigley family for the next 40 years. After the death of William Wrigley, his son Philip would assume control of ownership, and in 1977 when Philip died, his son William III took over. In 1981, the Chicago Tribune Company purchased the team from the Wrigley family for $20 million. This would end the longest continuous operation of a sports franchise by the same family. The Tribune Company would maintain ownership for the next 28 years. And in April of 2007, when Sam Zell purchased the company with plans of digging it out of bankruptcy, he put the team and its related entities up for sale. In January of 2009, Tom Ricketts, son of Joe Ricketts, who founded TD Ameritrade, was selected as the winning bidder, placing a bid of $900 million for the team. Tom is a great businessman like his father. He is the co-founder of an investment banking firm known as InCapital LLC. His two brothers, Pete and Todd, along with their sister Laura, will be joining Tom as the board of directors for the Chicago Cubs. In October of 2009, the Ricketts family, with Tom as chairman, officially took over 95% ownership of the Chicago Cubs, Wrigley Field, and 25% ownership of Comcast Sportsnet. The Tribune Company still retains 5% ownership of the franchise. Tom Ricketts is a longtime Chicago man. He grew up in Omaha, but he moved to Chicago when he was 18 to attend the University of Chicago. He met his wife in the Wrigley Field bleachers and is a self-proclaimed Cubs fanatic. On the agenda for the Ricketts family is to modify Wrigley Field to make it more fan-friendly. Talk of remodeling the concourse to reduce congestion and updating the scoreboard are among the things to do for the new board of directors. Also, it has been heard that there are plans to move the Cubs spring training facilities from Mesa, Arizona to Naples, Florida. Maybe a change in ownership is exactly what this team needs. The Cubs haven't won a World Series title in over 100 years. With the Ricketts family planning on being around for generations to come, hopefully this is the beginning of a new era and the end of a long drought for the lovable losers. Greatest fan.